Okay guys, I just wanted to um, run over something with you now, just to give you a little bit of proof really of um, our magneto pause and how it's being affected from the second solar wind. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run over this video, as if for, for people that haven't actually seen any of my stuff before and doesn't understand this graph, um, this is our bow shock, this is our magnetosphere. This is Earth in the middle, white sides are daytime, black sides are nighttime. Okay. This is our magneto tail, which you can see is disrupted in this image. Um, and this is our magneto pools here, magneto pools here. These are our polar cap lines, okay, magnetic field lines. So I want what I want you to do is keep an air, keep an eye on this bit here, okay? These are our magnetic field lines, our southern magnetic field lines, okay? So I want you to keep a very, very close eye on this area. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna show you and prove to you that there is a second solar wind coming from under the ecliptic, okay? Now keep very close eye on it. Okay, right, just to there, okay? See that, see how this line is starting to come upwards? What I'll do is, I'm, I'm gonna play it through in a moment, but I'm just gonna show you quickly um, how it's affected. So the sun would be here, okay? The pressure and the charged particles, the magnetic, electromagnetic particles are coming from this section here, okay? Sun would be here where my cursor is. It's coming from under the ecliptic, the other side of the sun. Okay. So just keep an eye on this magnetic field line, and actually, and this one. Okay, because they both move in in a direction that you've probably never seen before. All right, ready? Here we go. Look, see. Let's go back to that. See that? Keep watching that bit that I told you to watch. Right, what's happened? Look at that. Do you see what I mean? It's hitting our, mag our magneto pores and, and it's pushing our magnetic field lines. It's pushing it upwards. That's causing lots of disruption in our magneto tail. So if I go through a bit further, look. Look at that. It's been pushed up so far that it's gone above our northern hemisphere. See that? This is from our south pole. It's being pushed above us north. This is our northern magnetic field lines here. It's our southern. This is being pushed above the northern pole. So just keep a close look. This is what I mean. The, the, the solar wind is coming from this direction. It's pushing. And then it's coming. The charged particles are then interfering with our mag magneto tail. Okay? This is, there's no more proof that I could give you apart from this. Look at it. See that? Look, now, now the other one is starting to. This one's starting to be pushed up. Okay? It's going pushed up. This one's already above the north. Look. See that? So you've got another one there from the south. Look, this one here. That's being pushed up there, look. This one's being pushed up there. And this one is beginning to be pushed up there, okay? And this is what happens. Charged particles get pushed in. They get dragged in. No magneto um, sphere there. Sorry, I was struggling to get more words. I've only just come across this, so... And then our plasma sphere reacts, and that's when you get all the charged particles in our magneto tail disrupted. See all these magnetic field lines? They're, that's just nuts. Now I'm going to play it through in a minute, and you'll see what I mean. Look, you see these early formations because they just all switch around in the magnetic field, all the electromagnetic particles. And this is supercharged. All this is red. It shouldn't be red. This bow shock shouldn't be red either, but look at our southern magnetic field lines. That's being pushed straight up the north. See how it's so disrupted. Okay, that's just going to give you a clue. It just gets pushed up from the south. See that? It's getting pushed up from the south and then it interferes with our whole magnetic shield. Every, our whole magnetosphere. A magneto tail, a magneto pause, everything is affected by the second solar wind. And this will continue until February, mid February, 15th of February, probably, is our, probably our, our sort of um, get out of jail card, free card sort of thing. Uh, that's that's when we're going to get out of it. Because um, that's our Goldilocks zone, when we're sort of out of the second solar wind and um, we start to make our transit on our orbital path. 
to our front side alignment which will be coming in June okay so we're directly behind the Sun and the brown dwarf is the other side of the Sun below the ecliptic and that is where it's coming from as I've just proved to you with these magnetic field lines that are being pressurized upwards okay so play from there look they're being flung up it's all from the south and then all this pressure all the charged particles are interfering with it look, and it just completely collapses the northern lines in as soon as it's getting forced upwards these ones come over and then collapses the northern lines and then you get all this pressure in the back all these eddy formations all the magnetic field lines disrupted it's just Im immense this isn't coming from our sun our sun is quite quiet at the moment we've got a coronal hull which is I mean it's going to raise up to about 550 kms which is not a lot it's not a very strong solar wind so this is coming from something else and um, this is the ultimate proof you don't need any more proof it's just I'm showing you directly and this is interfering with our core now this has been happening for the last two weeks on our backside alignment you see and it's just got worse and I mean it's been worse than this and obviously once as soon as it hits our magnetic field lines because our core is directly connected to our magnetic field our core reacts so today we've seen some some strong earthquakes in sixes high fives um, and that's what occurs our char core, our core charges as the charged particles come in and get pulled in and then it releases and that's what you're seeing look it's just so disrupted it's just being forced upwards everything's being forced upwards okay as soon as it gets forced upwards it breaks these magnetic field lines and then gets caught in the magneto tail okay so I just wanted to share that with you try and share it out there because um, there's a lot of disinformation out there um, and people think it's all crap and you, everybody that follows me knows the truth um, and I'll continue to do this for everyone um, if you want to support me over on Patreon that would be great there's tiers on there where you can set up a, a $1 a month to help me out which would be really handy um, so I could do this more often um, and I'll be doing more videos like this but more detailed um, more structured as time progresses um, so yeah just thought I'd share this with you um, and just give you a clue of what's going on okay cool